Hey everybody, so we're back and it looks like maybe I jinxed us because now it's raining. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that yesterday about it being dry and clear and smooth and everything. And not humid. And not humid. But as you see, now I got Sabrina with me. Did you miss me and Belle? Of course I missed you guys. That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're leaving Erie, PA. We're going to drive to Winnebago Industries. Not all in one day. GPS is saying that it's going to take us 13 plus hours. I think we're going to split it up, especially now that it's raining, depending on how the weather's treating us. I think we're going to do it in three days, so we'll arrive on the third day. I think we're going to do six hours, six hours, and six hours. I know that equals more than 13 hours, but the way we move, oh my goodness. I think it'll be just right. You have anything to add at this moment? Not particularly. I guess Kenny wanted to leave a little earlier than we did, but I'm a little bit slow. So. Yeah, it's okay, though. It's 1030 in the morning, so if we drive for six hours today... See, I don't know, though. I, I was thinking six hours of driving time, not travel time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, because I'm going to have to stop. I agree. So that's six hours. I agree could... with that six hours of driving time. So I do most of the driving. And every once in a while, Sabrina's like, okay, I think we've had enough for today. <laughs> I'll turn and look at her and be like, what have you had enough of? You're in the passenger <laughs> seat all day. <laughs> why are you? Ha why, why have you had enough? All right, so we're going to head out. Follow along. Hey, everyone. So we're doing well on this trip so far. Uh, since we left, we've been moving slow. We've been going through a lot of construction zones, keeping us down to like 50 miles per hour for a whole trip. So we're not making great time. But we're in no rush. Uh, we've driven five hours of, well, we've done five hours of traveling so far, not all of it driving. And now we just stopped at a Ohio Service Plaza. We had some lunch. The plaza itself is very nice. It has dedicated RV parking spots, which is something that we always look for. It's always nice. We try to stay out of the trucker's way as much as possible. We're going to drive, I think, another, go another three hours or so. Uh, GPS is telling us that we have 10 hours and 40 minutes left on our trip and we're going to do a couple more hours today and continue tomorrow and even into the next day so we're in no rush. And speaking of the GPS, so we have the RV 660 made by Garmin and it's been great. We use it the most basic way possible which is just you know you put in the address that you're looking for and it takes us there. It does have shortcuts and campgrounds and all kinds of little icons. We don't use any of that we wanted something just for navigation, and this has worked flawlessly. The great thing about this model is that you put the dimensions of your motorhome in, and it finds the a route that is suitable for the vehicle that you have. It doesn't. It won't. So far, we've done about over 3,000, maybe 4,000 miles with this GPS, and it has never led us down a road that we couldn't fit or get under. It really is well worth what we paid for it, which I don't remember the cost. But <laughs> whatever it was, it's worth it because it's been great. The, this Garmin 660, highly recommend it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment it in the, the, the comment section. <laughs> I get very confused sometimes. If you have any comments about anything else too, put them in there too. I like reading all the comments and I try to respond to all the comments. Even comments like this one. Like which one? I'm the flash one up. What'd say? Shut up. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So, the comments are definitely something that I enjoy being part of. I, I like the I like the interaction with everybody too. I like hearing everybody's stories and and getting to know some of the people that are following along with us. So, all right. So we're back on the road again. Hey everybody. So we're stopping at the Blue Chip Casino. This is the very first time we've ever stayed at a uh, casino overnight with the RV. We have the parking lot almost to ourselves. There's only one other RV out here. And they said that security will come in and out of the lot occasionally. And if we want, just to wave them down and let them know that we would like to go to the casino and they'll give us a ride over there. I don't know if we'll do that or not. If we go in, we'll film if, if we're allowed to and show you the inside. The area seems real nice. 
no problem at all fitting the motor home in here plenty of space as far as uh the street the the streets and everything and this is where we'll be for tonight and then we'll continue on in the morning all right everybody thanks for following along